Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie. If you're new here, and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. If you are new, my name is Allie. I upload three videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And today we are going to be doing a workout video for at home with some tips and tricks. Tips and tricks, and this is just my disclaimer for you guys. Just always be careful and realize this work. This is what works for me. Okay, you guys, so also I am not a professional. These are things that I have learned offline off of watching other people who are licensed professionals in physical training and things and that such. So yeah, let's go ahead and just go ahead. Let's go ahead and get into the workout. So I like to start off with just a little bit of cardio. I did 45 min 45 seconds to a minute of jump rope just to go ahead and get that heart rate up. So depending on the level of your heart rate, that will determine on whether you're just conditioning as in cardio or burning fat. So you usually want to keep your heart rate no higher than 130 and a little bit lower and that is burning fat. So for the first thing I wanted to do, we are going to go ahead and get into some glute workouts. And I slowed it down on this clip just that way you could see I'm flexing my butt muscles the entire time. So to pull myself back up into a standing position, I am actually flexing my butt muscles. Do not flex once you are up, but flex and squeeze the entire time and that is how you truly trigger those glutes in deadlifts and really get that result that you are wanting. So right here, I am actually just using a 30 pound weight, but you guys, if you do not have weight, get a Walmart trash bag or something like that, fill it up with some water bottles and use that as your weight. And as you can see here, King needed some loving and he weighs about 30 pounds as well. So I just put him in my arms, cradled him, and I am using him as my weight. You can improvise, you guys. You don't have to have the fanciest gym equipment, but I will link cheap alternatives or options of what I have for you guys to use. So another one of my favorite glute workouts is actually these kickbacks as well as a kick to the side. So it's kind of like a fire hydrant but with a straight leg. And these glute bands, what glute bands are for is they're just there to add some resistance. They're not really there for anything in sp uh specific or just to look these are literally to add resistance it's kind of as if you were adding a weight to your legs to get them to strengthen as well as you're also working your inner thigh forcing that band apart so if you have trouble toning up your inner thighs glute bands are really good with any leg workouts because to force that band apart you are using those inner thigh workouts or those inner thigh muscles my bad so yeah just again up straight up point your heels down flex your heel flex your point your toes down and flex your heel and that is how you will get your um, maximum effects I guess you could say but we are doing 10 to 15 reps of everything on each side and that is going to be for toning now if you're going to want to do something for strengthening I would go with the heavier band and heavier weights and do lower reps so do 5 to 10 reps instead of 10 to 15 with everything a little bit heavier also, you guys, if you have problems with really bad hip dips, these workouts where you open your, your leg out to the side and work out that hip muscle will actually help build that muscle and kind of give you better curves. So now we're going into legs, and again, keeping the bands on, we are going into some jumping squats. And I wanted you guys to see the different options. So if jumping is too much for you, you can squat and go into a calf raise. And that will also help work out your calves as well as the jump does as well. But also make sure when you're squatting, put all of your weight back in the, into the back of your heel. And then use your arms to help lift you or to help you jump well they're just still lifting you but you guys know what I mean and again the band helps work out that inner thigh best as possible okay guys and so again for legs we are going to go ahead and do some lunges now one tip or not or one trick that I learned for me I have really bad knees and so I won't use a glute band with this, but I will just on my own force my knees kind of outwards. And that really takes a lot of pressure off of my actual knees and keeps them from hurting. As well as you can either do them stagnant, which is just one leg at a time up and down, or you could do them alternating. 
And if you want to amp it up and get your heart rate up, you can kind of add this cardio trick in of doing a bicep curl while doing the lunges and that gets your heart rate up a little bit more as well as holding in your core and you've basically made this a full body workout all in one. Um, light reps, heavy weight is what we're doing. So this is, I mean, heavy, wait, what? <laughs> light weight. Light weight, lots of reps is what we are doing for toning. And then like I said, if you really wanna just do strengthening, let's say you already have pretty toned up lean arms, um, just go up in the weight and do less reps. But also understand that if you do decide to hold dumbbells, that is going to add more pressure onto your knees as well. And then again, anytime you feel your heart rate going down, throw some cardio in there such as high knees, um, lateral slide, jump rope, just anything to get that heart rate back up. All right, you guys, so one of my favorite tricks to do whenever I am working out at home since I am limited to weights is to double up on my dumbbells. So I have a 10 and an eight and that makes it 18 pounds. Um, the reason I had zoomed in on my back was because I really wanted you guys to see how I was really trying to basically squeeze my spine with every single row and then that is how you know and also again anytime you are lifting or anything like that always flex the muscle you are aiming to work out that is going to be your best bet and again even though I'm doing a single arm row right here because I went up in weight you try to basically fire your arm back as strong as possible towards the center of your back so make sure your elbow is going directly straight back it's not out to the side it's not going behind you it's not a kickback but you're pulling up keep your arm at a 90 degree angle and pull up as if you were trying to start a lawnmower so these are actually one of my favorite workouts black bat flies you see me getting on to ethan so that way i don't hit him with the weight so anyways these are my favorite um back workouts again you are going to flex your muscles so initially activate that muscle to even start the lift so by flexing you are going to that is what's going to help you pull up so i guess that's my biggest point when you're working out a muscle activate that muscle in order to do whatever you're trying to do so if you're doing a squat flex those muscles to activate that power in your legs to push up um, whenever you're doing arm workouts use the bicep or the tricep flex it to initiate whether you're curling or you're extending that tricep and same thing with your back you're flexing the back muscles so that way you can really really feel that entire like you should be able to feel your entire back flex whenever you're doing any kind of back muscle up from your shoulder down to right above your butt so now we are going into arms and like I said we're doing hammer curls Hammer curls are one of my favorite things to do and especially this way that I'm doing right here holding one arm up and doing the other one alternating so what you're going to do here is you're going to cause a burn in the arm that is staying still while the, uh, while the other one is going but as well as you are building the muscle whenever you pull up. And you'll see me change it a little, again, a little, change it up again right here. So now I'm holding my left arm the entire time and only moving my right arm. And what's going to happen is that left arm is going to start burning. And when it starts burning, it's going to start burning that fat while also building muscle. Okay, so after the bicep hammer curls we're kind of going to go into a combination of regular bicep curls and hammer curls so what i'm doing is i'm lifting up in just your traditional bicep curl and then we're going to rotate rotate the arm to come down in a hammer curl and what you're doing you can see here in my arm is you're in that your i'm sorry you're incorporating and activating that entire bicep muscle so you're working out the upper part of your bicep and that part that's right above that dip in where your elbow is at so you are actually activating your entire bicep by doing these as well as that outer part of your arm that kind of connects the bicep and the tricep to get that cut you are actually activating those and again you guys anytime you feel you can go up and wait and do it but also understand that you can drop in weight whenever you need to um, you don't want to hurt yourself always be wise and remember form over power so always get your form correct so that way you're truly working out the muscle correctly over just 
looking strong or looking fit, you really want to be safe within working out those muscles and making sure your form is proper to avoid bodily injury. And again, we're doing these bicep curls. And you guys, you can see I'm rocking back and forth. Don't do that. Try to keep your body as still as possible. And you can see that I'm in a second I will notice and I'm going to try to keep my body even more still. You don't want to use the momentum of your body to lift that weight. You want to activate those muscles. Um, you want to stay keep the workout as focused on those muscles as possible. So when you're doing your bicep curls, you shouldn't be swinging your whole body to lift those. When you're doing your kickbacks, like you see me rocking, you shouldn't, and this is also because it's sped up, so it kind of seems like I'm rocking really fast, but I'm not. But you shouldn't have to use momentum of your body. If you're having to use the momentum of your body to lift, then you need to go down and wait. And I am so upset with myself on this one because you can't see the upper part of my body, but I'm just doing overhead tricep extensions. Now with these, keep your elbows as close to your ears as possible. That is the way you're going to get the ultimate results within tricep overhead tricep extensions, as well as the proper form should be you tilting in your butt a little bit, so pushing your hips forward to take a lot of that pressure off your back so that we are not using a lot of your back to lift this um, weight, but to focus mostly on your triceps. All right, you guys, now we're going into shoulders. Shoulders is probably my least favorite body part to work out because I feel like my shoulders are so weak. Anytime I'm doing shoulders, you will see me using bands, really light bands, or you will see me doing really light dumbbells. So here we're just doing those lateral extensions and make sure whenever you're doing this, your arms are not bent. You want to keep them as straight as possible. And if you're finding out that you have to um, bend your arms, go down in the weight. And um, even if you can't go down in the weight anymore, there's no weight lower than what you can do. Just do your arms by yourself, um, by themselves, no weight, just um, body weight and work on that and then build your way up. That is my only thing is don't try to start out heavy, work your way up there. And also for shoulders, we are going to go ahead and do Arnold presses. So whenever you're doing Arnold presses, you kind of start as if you're guarding your face boxing. And then you will rotate your arms out to a 90 degree angle and then push up. And again, try to keep your elbows as parallel to the floor as possible. For me, it's kind of hard to tell because as you can see, I have heftier, flabbier arms than most and so I can't really tell sometimes when my elbow is not exactly parallel or if it's too low um, but yeah try to keep it parallel to the ground and again that rotation is going to work out all angles of your shoulder and for me I feel like your chest and your shoulders are really what kind of helps you start to look toned in the face and like from your neck up and stuff you that's where you can really see a lot of weight loss a really a lot of definition and things like that Okay, guys, so for chest, we are actually going to be laying down, and I did stack these up a 10 and an 8 to make it 18 pounds for a chest press. And these are kind of going to be your close grip chest press. So we're not holding our arms out wide. We're kind of holding our elbows, again, kind of parallel to the floor and pushing up. And that's really going to work out that upper part of your chest. And like I said, just help you really look lean. If you're not really into chest presses, go ahead and try chest flies. So it's basically the same thing as a back fly, only you're laying on your back but that is all for today's video you guys if you guys want me to do a part over apps just go ahead and comment that down below but yeah you guys always remember that I love you guys but Jesus loves you more let me know if you like these videos where I kind of break down my workouts um, I have this home one and then I do have a gym one coming up but yeah, always remember you guys to please, please, please hit that like button. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe and I will see you guys next time.